<laughs> Stop swearing on my vlog. This is family friendly vlog. <laughs> you know, if we're going to do these vlogs, you're going to have to get used to seeing me always in a hoodie and joggers because pandemic. Today is our first day of moving. And we've got so much to do. Hey, 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 hey. Just one Yeah, me too. Super excited now. I've got to let the handyman in today. <laughs> got to let the handyman in today and um, get everything sorted. Everything's ready to go. Just getting more and more empty in there. It looks like a mess. But yeah, I'm excited to finally move in. There's loads of broken things and bits and bobs, so. We'll just have to uh, wait until all of that's done. But today is the first day that I'm going to start moving some bits. So let's go. Yo, so this is what I'm dealing with. A lot of stuff. And on the way, I had to stop and pump up my tyres because they were on flat mode. And um, literally every single tyre was like, boop, 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 so flat. So I need to get four new tyres as well. I messaged the handyman about an hour ago. Um, he's read it. He's left me on red. He's left me on red about an hour ago. So I'm just sat here waiting. Um, yeah. Long! Literally no work. I tried every single one. Look, my hands are black from my tyres. Like, it's all just going wrong. Handyman's not even here. Oh, yeah. There are so many things to do. Literally. It's so cold. That's why I've got a little red nose. But I've put my little heater in to try and warm me up a bit. So, yeah. It's been a bit mad. But we're making progress. Oh, oh I'm not very good at this, am I? We're making progress now. So I bought these grey curtains. And um, as lovely as the curtains are, the carpet is a disgusting shade of pink. So you probably can't see it on the um, video how pink it is, but it just doesn't go. It just looks, it just looks gross. So they're going to have to go back. And um, this day has just been getting worse and worse and worse. And I can't feel my toes because this house is freezing. The sun's come out now, so you can kind of see the colour of the carpet a bit more because you couldn't really see it before. But yeah, now I just have to wait for the mattress to be delivered. So I've got myself a picnic. Yay! And it's just a waiting game now. And I'm going to get my laptop and watch James's stream in a minute so then it feels like he's here with me. Because... I've been alone all day and this is like not familiar territory for me. Um okay guys, hang on. Hey. Yo, all of the electricity in the house just switched off and it's just switched back on. Okay, this is freaking me out now. So I'm going to go downstairs. That just really freaked me out. Like all of the lights and everything just switched off. Like everything. Look how dark everything is. <gasps> oh, even that echo just then. Oh my God. Listen, oh. Oh, this, oh, I'm going to have to get out of here. This isn't for me. And the fact that I'm filming myself right now is even more like a horror movie. Oh my God. If these lights switch off now and I'm down here by myself, literally, Oh my God, this is terrifying. This is like horror movie, I've got to go back upstairs. Oh my God. Oh, thank God, just shut the door. Not the door. <gasps> that light just came on by itself as well. 
Did you guys just see that? My God. Okay, yeah, I can't take this anymore. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, James. Okay, so James has asked me to turn on all the lights and everything. Ugh, scary room. Um, yeah, he's asked me to turn on all the lights and everything because the house just blacked out. Apparently, like, water is just, like, gushing out from somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, oh, this is so creepy. But, yeah, if it's, like, leaking into the electric or something, maybe that's why it, like, cut out for a second. I really just don't know. Gucci's room! Oh, fuck. Oh, I'll have to fix that. I need to just do these up for, for now. Guys, I've just been added to the Pasha playlist and it's insane! Why am I, why am I always in this? You always just want me to show off for the camera, don't you? Oh my God. <coughs> Literally. <coughs> Anybody about uh, me? Joel Gucci did to me, right? He came in, he was like, oh, just remembered, got something to show you. You ready? He took his top off, I'm not gonna do that. And he went and showed me his bicep. And he was like, turn this off. And he was like, look at that. I don't know where it's come from, but look at that. And like, there's nothing there. You know, like when like a little kid goes like that, it was like that, right? And he was so excited. It was like, it was the first time he'd ever done it or anything. Thanks for that. Anyway, so back to me. I just got added to the playlist. To I got added to the playlist on Pasha and it's insane. Pasha is like, Pasha is legendary, like legendary in Ibiza. And also like I've been added to some sick playlists. Okay, ignore my hair. I went to the gym earlier and it's just all a bit wild. But so there's currently 54 people listening to the sequel right now. It is Wednesday at just before seven. And there are 54 people listening to the sequel, like getting lit on a Wednesday. Hump day special. Um, yeah, but big up everyone that's um put the sequel on your playlist. You're a real one. Um yeah, mental. I'm feeling all the feels right now. Yo! So we're just on our way to go and get our things, which are currently <laughs> currently being held hostage in the house that we were meant to be moving into. However, look. James, it's gone what? like, yeah, like white on my face. Yeah, you're just moving away and moving in. I'm gonna have to do it this way. Right. You can't be in it. Don't worry. Um, yeah, our stuff is currently being held hostage at the house that we were meant to be moving into because they need to escort us through the house to go and pick up our belongings just in case we steal anything from the house. Bear in mind the house like comes completely unfurnished. There is nothing in that house. Apart from a few of the old tenants' belongings, like sponges. There was like a BT Home Hub left there as well. I mean, I do need a BT Home oh, Hub, yeah. so maybe they, they know that, don't they? I had a pretty sleepless night last night, which is why I look fabulous today. I actually think I might have cried in my sleep. So the reason that we can't move in is because... Is an Olympic size swimming pool's worth of leak in the house or under the house or around the house but there is a lot of water leaking and um, they don't know how long it's gonna take to fix and whatever else I think they just wanted us to move in so that they had somebody living there whilst they were gonna be fixing it and then we would have been paying above and beyond for this house wouldn't we basically right we found ourselves in a very fortunate scenario where I still had the lease on the apartment that we live in for a number of weeks after we started the lease on the house. Now this allowed us to stay in the apartment and not move into the house until the house was completely ready. Um, and during this time where we were trying to get the house ready, we just discovered all of these big problems with it. and. If we'd have already moved all our things in, we probably would have put up with it. And we probably would have found ways to make it work. But because we were in this fortunate scenario where we still had our options open, we were able to, we were able to back out of the 
agreement when given the opportunity. So I wouldn't have been able to make it work because I'm not about to live on a building site for the next year because I reckon that that's what they're going to have to do. Yeah. If it's got like an Olympic size pool's worth of leak, then it's going to take an Olympian to come and get rid of it. <laughs> like it's going to be mental. Hercules. Literally, that it's got all underfloor heating, so it's all marble floor. They're gonna have to rip all that up to fix it, and then we're just left with the top floor upstairs, won't be able to stream, which was the whole reason why we're moving. So, yeah, it's just been a nightmare from beginning to end, and the estate agents have just been horrendous. So, we're going to the house now, and then I'll let you know if I can get my things or not. This would only happen to us, wouldn't it? No, don't you try and steal anything when we get there. I know what you're like. Well... Right. It's not going in. We've managed to get the mattress, so that's good. Got to go, though. Probably not allowed to film. Okay. Mad. Guys, so... This was the house. <laughs> and... <laughs> We managed to get all of our stuff. We couldn't oh, film. Shit, you can't see out the back of the <laughs> we couldn't film because um, there was just too much going on, and we didn't we didn't want to anger them even more so that we weren't able to get our stuff. We're gonna get beaten up, do we? <laughs> but yeah, like we managed to get everything. We managed to get a king size mattress into the tour van, which is absolutely crazy, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, I'm gonna need your help. I can't see out the back. So that's it, guys. We're not moving into the house. Um, we've got all of our stuff and the search continues. Can we stop and get a sandwich? Yeah. So it's a date day today, going on a little walk. Um, getting ready for International Women's Day, which is tomorrow. Big day. Um, I'm working ooh, with a charity called Wish. <laughs> no, it just yeah, fell. Yeah, Wait, look at this path. Oh, yeah, this is take, so hard to hold. Easy. Yeah, we're like right next to the river. Um, it's one day before International Women's Day and I'm working with a charity called Wish, which is really exciting, um, with I Saw It First and they've asked me to do some reels so I've decided What's to... I Saw It First? I Saw It First is a clothing company, really really cool, epic. Yeah, I, knew, I, know, I know all the cool clothing companies. <laughs> and um, they've asked me to do some reels so I've decided to involve like some of the fiercest female producers female DJs um, into the reels and hopefully make something epic, so. Sorry. Go on, I'm fit to win. Go on, faster, faster. Say boots, you know, look at that. Outfit to win. I've got my parcels from I saw it first. So this is one of the charity jumpers. Excited! The future is female. I love that. Yo, so I've just finished doing the reels for independent. What's, why are you like showing off your wire like it's like you're ready No, this! You thought you off the wire? No! <laughs> Hi! I've just Hi, finished! Everyone. Hi everyone! No, I've just finished this. So, so, so just so you know, I'm a real DJ. I roll with wires and that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just literally finished filming all of my reels for International Women's Day. Um, so I had to set everything up. It was long, but worth it because absolutely smash it, didn't we? <laughs> but I, I played no part other than holding a camera, I'd like to add, but... But it's actually yeah, really hard did, to do the camera. I did absolutely smash it. He did, because... I'll put my hands up and say I did absolutely smash it. <laughs> It was, it was really, really good fun. Um, James was literally flying around the room to get all of those shots, shot, shot, shots. Um, James White Pangles. You'll see the reels, they're probably up already now on my Instagram anyway, so that's at Tita underscore Lau. If What's you're watching Instagram? this and you don't follow me. Which is really unlikely. Yeah, yeah, it's very it's unlikely. Vlog. It's quite personal. Get a lot of questions about this that I haven't ever got anything plugged in. These are digital cables. And it's 2021. And because. you don't need the red on my ones. <laughs> Stop swearing on my vlog. This is family friendly vlog. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, they go into the digital outputs. But yeah, it's digital. I'm going to order James and Nando's now for all of his help. For all of his help today. 
I'm gonna order him Nando's. Cause he's my cheeky mando.